I am just so happy, excited, and proud that they have taken the time to push the pause button, as they refer to it, to take the time and step back and look at the, all the other options that was recommended. I applaud the Park Service for listening to us and uh, as well as uh, uh, putting a pause on, on this process to make sure they get it right. And pausing this process is just what the park did today as they announced their environmental impact statement will only include the allowance for a transition year this winter. While the park goes through more than 150,000 comments received over the summer in response to a draft winter use plan released earlier this year. I think it's an indication of how popular Yellowstone Park is and this issue uh, uh, with a lot of different folks, but it's, it's, a big, it's a big issue and it's a big park, very important park, very important decision. Yellowstone National Park is taking this winter use plan extremely seriously. In fact, Superintendent of the Park, Dan Wank, took time out of his busy schedule to come to the town of West Yellowstone to talk to the public and hear exactly what they think of this winter use plan. So the people of West Yellowstone or Cody or Bozeman or Jackson have a great stake in what happens in Yellowstone. And, and um, they're, they're, they really care. They care deeply and it's wonderful to hear their concerns. That's what we've all wanted all along and I'm sure the Park Service has as well. So uh, this is this is really nice that they're, uh, they're slowing down to get it right. I also had the chance to get some reaction from the Greater Yellowstone Coalition as they're holding their annual meeting down in Wyoming. They told me that they are thrilled to hear that the park is taking their time in making this decision and it's the hope of the GYC that the park can come up with a strong and sustained winter use plan for the park. While the park continues to come up with a usable winter use plan, operations this winter in the park will remain exactly the same as the last two. 318 snowmobiles and 78 snow coaches will be allowed inside the park daily during the winter season. While snow may not be on the ground yet, many town residents are gearing up for another exciting winter in the nation's first park. From West Yellowstone, I'm Adam Bell for Montana's News Station.